Hello, amazing people. It is Friday. Yes, it is Friday. Come on, it is Friday. Rejoice. It is Friday. Welcome to Christiana Flourishing. And it is another Friday. We are in the last week of the month of April. Woo! Come on, guys. Let's go into it. Know what we do here. We summarize the rough study of reality. He's a daily devotional. We are building ourselves in the word of the Lord. So let's jump into it for Monday, the 26th of Welcome back. Monday, the 26th of April, 2021 says, in the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 6, verse 12 says, Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of eternal life. We are unto thy heart called. And this perform a good profession before many weaknesses. Hallelujah. The Bible says, God so loved the world that he gave his holy begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is John 3, 16. This is why Jesus came to give us eternal life. There could be a fellowship with God. The question to ask is, did he achieve his purpose? Yeah. Did God achieve it? I would say he achieved it in me. Hallelujah. The life is incorruptible. It is neither just a failure nor death. This is the life you have in Christ. The life you have in Christ is, a, is, is indestructible life. Hallelujah. You may say, but a Christian died. It's just the flesh that died. The spirit is alive. Hallelujah. Without your spirit, without your flesh, you cannot live in this earthly world. But your spirit is alive. And that is most important. That's why you as a child of God should build up your spirit. At the fire heat. We, we can, can we read quickly to the book of 1 John chapter 5 verse 13 says, I write those things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. You have Zohe at work in you. How often time declare, I have eternal life. You have to declare that life of God that you have inside of you. He said, in the name of Jesus, I have eternal life. I live above element of this world. You have to affirm it. Say what you want to see. Hallelujah. I refuse to accommodate any sickness, any diseases, any affinity, any whatever it is. That is not consistent to the word of God. Say no to it. So the confession says, I am perfect in Christ Jesus. I refuse to accommodate any sickness, diseases, or pain in my body. I become very, I because, because I have taken hold of eternal life, I have reigned through Christ over an element of this world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. For those who are joining me, we are reading the Rhapsody of Reality and we are summarizing it. And if you want to get it every day, join the Facebook page. I'll put the link under. You will see it. Join it. It's free. So you can have it and meditate on this thing. This is what you should build your life on. It says, walking the word. The book of Romans chapter 10, verse 10 says, For with the heart man believe unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Hallelujah. He said, there are these fatal things you must do effectively walking the world and enjoy god's provision for your life always first your heart must line with with the word of god the bible says in romans chapter 10 verse 10 it says, for with the heart you believe with the mouth you confess hallelujah the second thing is your mind must line up with your heart on the word of god apply the word must have meaning in you understanding Without the meaning, you cannot communicate what is in your heart through languages. So you need to have the word in you. You need to have it in your mind. And the third is to speak it out. You say, Rema, that's Greek. Hallelujah. It says to achieve the word given a particular situation. This was what Ezekiel uttered by the value of the driver. He said, I prophesy and the Lord command me. Ezekiel, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 10, he says, as he commanded, just like the Lord has said to him, if you speak or hot that isn't in the line of agreement with the word of God, 
he said he would got a wrong result so whenever you speak let the word you speak let the word you declare be lined with the word of god hallelujah it says in the book of romans 10 10 we just read before with your heart man believe as you believe you speak what that we should believe this inspiration of the word provide us the word grammar on our meditation on the word and declaration of it produce tremendous results bringing the word into manifestation so these are what we are actually study meditation in our cell system so let's take the prayer dear father thank you for the specific and achievable word to me today that address my particular situation as i speak for rema and i declare word of power concerning my health finance business and ministry circumstances align with my perfect will and destiny for me in jesus name hey welcome to wednesday the 28th of april 2021 set for the good welfare it says in the book of first timothy chapter 1 verse 18 to 19 the nhiv translation say timothy my son i am giving you this commandment in keeping with the prophets once made about you so that by recalling them by your fight the battle well hold on to the faith and the good conscience which some have rejected and so have suffered sheep free with regret to their faith hmm. hallelujah to jesus our 10th scripture is very aligning to war a good warfare require faith and good conscience also in important to know who you are in god's kingdom it's very important the book of ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 say for we whisper not against flesh and blood but against principality against power against the rulers of darkness in this world people will say ah, they are the darkness they have darkness in this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places <laughs> those people you know them Ephesians says, I've said it all. Tell us what to put on. He said, put on the whole harmony of God. Wherefore, take unto you the whole harmony of God that you may be able to stand in the days, in the evil day. And have it done that stand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Above all, take a sheet. You need to have the sheet of God as children of God in everything you do. Have the sheet of faith. You need the word of God. The more you hear the more your faith is increased the more you're building yourself it's very important it doesn't matter what mislead the enemy throw at you your faith core and win always hallelujah your faith in the word of god will definitely win have don't be moved don't be distracted just focus your attention your mind on the word of god in the rest of your life is very important dear father i thank you for your faith i have your word in my heart uh, my faith is alive and with it i quench and i destroy every work of the enemy and i establish only fame darkness and of the enemy i am winning and making progress in all that consign me in jesus name hello amazing friend welcome to thursday the 29th of april it says we have authority hey jesus have authority yeah, in this place he has authority hey, for all of the nation will fashion for the Lord's glory. Authority. Hey. He said, When I was daily with you in the temple, we stretched forth our hand against me. But this is your power and the power of darkness. Luke chapter 25, verse 53. We are in the time when there is so much abuse of political power in many acts of the world. They are so as a slow. As you can see. You can't even say anything you say too much even in this thing they will just they will they won't accept it they will give you strike <laughs> but irrespective of it we just read that even when jesus was dead they put their hand they touch him in the temple they, they told them this is their hour and their time you say immediately jesus spoke and identified himself the soldier and the temple police were knock on the door jesus said that in the book of luke chapter 22 verse 15 to say then jesus said to the chief priest captain of the temple and the head who has come to him have you come out at against a robber with sword and crop 
when I was in your daily in the temple, you did not try to squeeze me, but this is your hour and power of darkness. So you know that if Jesus knew that it was, you should know that also. It's very important that children of God and Christ was crucified for us because it was the hour, it was that time. But you as a child of God, now because of Christ, you have the victory. You don't, don't be afraid of them. You have to study the word of God and build yourself rightly in the word of God. Hallelujah. We have authority in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be intimidated by decree of law that are anti-Christians anti or against the preaching of the gospel. I'm still within to pray that the wicked hearts, strong politics and strategy of Satan be frustrated in the name of Jesus. God's people and the preaching of the gospel around the world will be prevailing and making progress in Jesus' name. Dear beloved, if you are still watching me, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, this is another opportunity to, to quickly run, subscribe to this channel and put the bell on top. We do this every Friday and we have a personal video every Tuesday, 3.30 p.m. Europe time. So let's continue. The last one, Friday says, keep your body in health with the word. Romans 8 verse 11 said, But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit that quickened in you. Hallelujah. You are born again. You are a new life. You have a new life. The life, the life affects your whole spirit, souls and body. Our 10th verse says, If the spirit that raised up Christ from the dead dwell in you, it will vitalize your mortal body. Many hasn't experienced the reality of the word of God in their life because they are not acting on the word. If you were born again 50 years ago, you don't understand this truth. You will be subject to the enemy of this word. It is true. It doesn't matter how long you have been born again. You see, if you are feeling symptoms in your body, if you are sick, no, a thousand times, no. You have got the spirit of God in you. You have got to live the God life in you. You say, but I said it 10 times. I can't, it's not living. Keep saying it until you leave. That is what I do. Hallelujah. Use your mouth. Speak word of healing and health over your body. As you speak, don't let Satan deceive you that nothing is happening. Everything you say will happen. Your mouth, your mouth, your heart. You can mouth your lungs. You can mouth your kidney. Take so talk to the skin, your bones, your blood, and keep them in health, in glory. Keep your body in God's perfect health because that is what God wants. My body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. I refuse to allow anything dominating me. I keep my body in subject of the word of God. Anything that is not consistent with the word of God in my life is in permanent in my body. I work in the bar head continually in Jesus' name. Glory to God in the highest. Thank you so much. I will see you next week, Friday, on Weed with Christiana. Have an amazing time. God bless you.